Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have had an amazing week so far. For today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my quarantine favorites, things that I have been loving during this time being at home, and just some stuff that's gotten me through this super strange time. I've got a bunch of stuff in beauty and lifestyle, so I thought we would just go ahead and get into it. I've gotten them all written down right here because there is a pretty long list. So we're gonna start in the beauty category, and the first First thing that I wanted to share with y'all from beauty that I have been loving and like honestly have been needing during quarantine has been these face masks. These are from the brand Summer Fridays. You guys have probably seen them on Instagram. They are a super trendy brand but their products are actually amazing and so I've been really enjoying all of these face masks. So the first one is the jet lag mask. This is the first one that I ever got and I am obsessed with this mask. This is a really really great hydrating mask and I use this when my skin tends to be a little bit dry and needs some more life so I love this mask the one that I've used most recently is their R&R mask this one is their brightening mask so I like to use this one when my skin feels really dull and this one actually has like the most amazing oils in it so when you put it on your face literally absorbs and soaks in like all of that hydration and this one is amazing too because when you rinse it off like those oils kind of stay on your face and you wake up the next morning like if you put this on at night you wake up the next morning feeling so glowy and refreshed and so I am obsessed with this mask this one is probably my favorite of all three of them and then their last one is the overtime mask and this one has a little bit of an exfoliation in it so if your skin needs like a refresh this is a really good mask but basically I have been loving these face masks so much one because they're super cute but two they're just amazing masks and I would highly recommend them to any of y'all I've just been loving these and I've been taking this extra time during quarantine and being at home to really take care of my skin to focus on my skin since I don't really wear a lot of makeup these days it's been mostly just if I'm filming I'll throw on some makeup so I've been loving just the extra care that I've been able to give to my skin and these have been just so good the next thing is actually a cleanser that I've had for a little while but I decided to bring it back into my routine over quarantine and this is the fresh soy face cleanser this one is for all skin types this is maybe my favorite smelling cleanser of all all time and I've tried a lot of cleansers you guys know I'm getting products a lot so I'm trying a bunch of stuff out and I'm going through different things constantly kind of like reinventing my skincare routine but this face cleanser is my favorite scent it smells kind of like cucumber so it has that really really fresh smell to it which is why I guess this brand is called fresh this is one of my favorite cleansers of all time mostly because of the smell and also like it is a great cleanser it does foam up just a tiny bit but for the most part it is like a super gentle cleanser so it's not going to strip away the oils in your skin it is a little bit pricey but I am telling you the smell is like it's so good I wish you guys could smell because I seriously look forward to washing my face with this every morning and night because it just it just makes me so happy when I smell it so this has been like my go-to the next favorite are lotions and hand creams so you guys know I just posted my Glossier review and first impressions of the new hand cream and I am obsessed with this hand cream you guys if you saw the review you already know why but basically the packaging is absolutely adorable it's like the perfect size to throw in your purse it smells really really good but it's not overpowering so it has like the most subtle smell of their like perfume and it's almost to me like a mixture of their perfume and like their body lotion so I've been loving this hand cream and I've been desperately needing hand cream so this was like a lifesaver you guys know I am a Glossier rep so if you do want 10% off of your Glossier purchase you can use my link down below in the description box but I have been loving this cream I highly recommend it and it just feels really good on the skin it's super quick absorbing but it's not like oily and greasy so this has been my favorite hand cream and then as far as body lotion goes I got this body hero at the beginning of quarantine and I have been loving it I put it on after I shower and it also smells so so good it's also really quick absorbing into the skin and my favorite thing about this body lotion is that it has the most subtle like shimmer to it it's not 
sparkly it's not like a glitter but it has the most like subtle sheen to it so it looks like your legs are glowing and hydrated and moisturized and i'm just a huge fan of this body lotion and so this has been also a favorite of mine the next thing is a lip product and this is the awake beauty lip mask and i have been really really loving this because for some reason i just have really dry lips in general it's not just during the winter that my lips get really dry and cracked it's also just throughout the year and so i have to use pretty intense lip balms and i do need the help of a lip mask every once in a while to like really hydrate my lips when they're starting to get dry but i have been loving this one because this is like a very thick lip mask so if you get really dry lips and you need like a reset on your lips this is awesome i do suggest only wearing this like to go to bed because it is a really really thick product i've been really liking this though this is like kind of my reset and then i also have their lip balm as well which smells like watermelon which is really great for the daytime but this is like a good nighttime lip mask Next up is sunscreen and I have been using the Glossier Invisible Shield pretty much in the mornings when I put makeup on because it's a clear formula so it doesn't have a white cast to it. Lately again I haven't been wearing a ton of makeup and so we go on runs in the evening and then also just in general you should wear sunscreen. Since we've just been going on runs and being active outside where I don't really have any makeup on, I have been really loving the Super Goop SPF 50. This is an everyday sunscreen. This one is like a little bit more oily than the Glossier Invisible Shield, but I will say because it is like an SPF 50, it's a stronger protectant than the Glossier. So this is really good if you are going to be in the sun versus the Glossier one, which is great as just an everyday sunscreen. This one I actually feel like really protected with when I'm outside running or doing anything that's like in the direct sunlight. So I've been loving this and I just, I don't know, I'm a big Super Goop fan. I also love their Unseen sunscreen which is like a kind of clear cast priming sunscreen so they have a bunch of different kinds of sunscreen but this has been the one that I like to work out in and sweat in and it's been really good so you guys know that nail salons have been closed for quite some time now but I've been keeping my nails looking I would say pretty dang good using an at-home gel machine and I actually have been gelling my nails at home since like 2016 so this is nothing new to me but this has actually been a lifesaver since since quarantine because I have been able to do my nails at home while watching Netflix and I really do feel like this has been the best investment that I have ever made because I do my nails probably every other week and I think this machine was like maybe a hundred dollars but I've already saved so much money because I still use it since 2016 so I will link this down below with everything else but I have an actual video on how I gel my nails that I put out at the beginning of quarantine and that has every single product that I use like all the polishes everything you need but this gel machine has been seriously like a lifesaver during all of this the next thing is something unexpected but it's actually a shower cap this one is from t3 and i really like it because it's a really thick shower cap so it's not like a cheap one and then on the inside it has a cloth so you can like wash it in your washer i have been really liking a shower cap because i feel like i used to always want to like rinse off and i'd throw my hair up in a bun but like it would still get kind of wet which was really annoying because if i had curled my hair and I wanted it to stay nice it would get wet and then it would like mess up the curls so I got a shower cap and I'm actually really glad that I got this and I don't know what took me so long to get a shower cap it's honestly been such a lifesaver I just feel like this is one of those things that like you don't ever think about getting but then you do and you realize that it's just really functional so I have been loving my shower cap and then the last beauty product is this Amika I think that's how you say it this is a dry conditioner and I've never used a dry conditioner before, only a dry shampoo, but you use this on like the middle of your hair till the ends and it just gives your hair like a little bit of shine. It just kind of refreshes your hair and it smells so good. So I've actually been loving this and trying this out. I still use dry shampoo, so I'll do dry shampoo in my roots and then do this, like I said, towards the ends. And this just smells so good. So I really love using this product mostly because of the smell, but it does give your hair like a good refresh. 
So now on to fashion, basically just a few pieces of clothing that I've been loving and living in. Basically the first one is this white t-shirt from Everlane and I actually have two of their t-shirts now that I really love. These are really great quality. I've been looking for like a good white t-shirt and I feel like Everlane makes some really nice ones. So this one actually says Everlane on it but I have one that is a white crew neck with a little pocket which is also really cute. But I've just been living in t-shirts lately. I'm sure we all have. I just have been loving a nice crisp white tee and I think Everlane just has some good basics. So this has been one of my favorites to wear at home. The next thing is also from Everlane and they just launched these and I love them and they make me so happy every time that I wear them. These are their... Oh gosh, I can't remember what they're called. I call them their knit mule. I don't think that's what they're called, but I will link them down below. I got them in the coral color and this color makes me so dang happy. They have them in like six colors, I believe. They also have a really beautiful lilac one, which I also loved, but I feel like coral really fits into my wardrobe. So if we ever go out mostly to just the grocery store, I will wear these because I feel like they just boost my mood and make me so happy. Plus because they're knit, they're really, really comfortable to wear. So I love these and I thought I would share them because they do come in some really pretty colors. So if you're looking for a really good spring summer shoe that's also comfortable, but like kind of dressy because it does have a heel, I would highly recommend these. These are just super cute and I honestly think they look so good in the cream and the black and then the tan as well so I love them and the last clothing item are these denim shorts from Madewell I got these at the beginning of spring but I have been loving them these are called the perfect jean short and I have to agree by that name they are the perfect jean short they're great length super super high-waisted they have some stretch to them so they're really comfortable to wear they also have the distressing at the bottom which is really cute all right so now on to lifestyle things that i have been loving which is probably my favorite category because this is a hodgepodge of the most random things that have really helped me get through quarantine so the first being my nintendo switch which I had no plans on getting before quarantine. Like I didn't even know these were out really. But then as soon as quarantine hit, I saw a bunch of people start to play this game called Animal Crossing, which is a game that I played back in high school on my DS. And so I just could not stop thinking about Animal Crossing. So I went online and I searched high and low for a Nintendo Switch and I wanted to get the full version where you could like take the sides off and plug it into the TV or whatever but those were sold out everywhere and they were marked up like twice the price on resale websites like eBay so I went ahead and bought the Nintendo Switch Lite and I honestly really love it I don't really see myself ever plugging this into the TV anyway so I feel like it was worth just getting the cheaper one so I think these are actually like $200 but this was definitely worth the money. This was like one of those purchases that when I got it, I was like, I don't know, I feel kind of bad like buying this because I don't need it. But honestly, after a month and a half of everything going on, this has been like my lifesaver. So I'm so glad I got this and it's so fun. Animal Crossing, if you're not familiar with that game, you basically are put on this little island with a bunch of cute little animal creatures. <laughs> this sounds so weird, but you basically build an island and you build up your little town and you can connect with friends online. So I've like played with a bunch of followers and subscribers on this game. And so if you want to add me, you can DM me for my code. I've just been loving Animal Crossing. It's a really good game to play to just kind of unwind and relax there's really no like mission to the game other than making your town beautiful and talking to your neighbors in the game so it's just a really fun kind of easygoing relaxing game and like I said I played it in high school so it was like almost nostalgic to play it again I've been loving the switch and I'll probably download some other games on here maybe later but as of right now I only have Animal Crossing but that has taken up so much of my time. I basically play it every single night. So I've been 
loving my Switch. The next thing that my time has been going to if I'm not playing Switch and I'm not filming or editing a video has been embroidery. And you guys know that I have been embroidering. I've been posting about it here on YouTube. And then I've also been posting a lot on my Instagram. So if you're not following me, you definitely should at by Chloe Wen. But I will like throw on some of my embroidery projects right here because I've actually sold through all of my projects. So I don't really have anything to show y'all here on YouTube other than this one that I just did of Arizona, which is super cute. It has a little cactus, but I have been embroidering non-stop since quarantine and it has been basically my life. I started embroidering back in late 2016 and I just kind of did it on and off and then as soon as like quarantine happened I was like what can I do that will be relaxing and also like creative and I pulled out my old embroidery stuff and I like posted one photo on Instagram and like Everyone started freaking out and was like, can you do a tutorial? I want to learn this, post more about it. And so I did. And I've honestly been so excited because I feel like I've started to grow a community of embroiderers online, which is crazy. So I've been loving doing these videos and I've posted, I think, three tutorials now. So I am just loving sharing this with y'all. But this is my embroidery box that so many of y'all ask about. So if you have any questions about this box, all the thread, all the materials, the fabric, head over to my Embroidery 101 video because that's where all of that is linked. I'm not gonna link it all here because I just have linked it so many other places. But basically, I've been embroidering non-stop. I've worked on tons of projects, done a lot of commissions, and I've just been enjoying the slow process of embroidering. The next thing is food related. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you have already seen this so much. You're probably tired of seeing it because that's how much I post about it because I love it so much. And it is the Sweet Lorene's cookie dough. And they are, let me show you. I literally brought them over here so I could show you. You can get them at Target, I believe, and then you can get them at Publix. They are the Chocolate Chunk and Fudgy Brownie, and then I still need to try the sugar cookie ones because someone DM'd me and was like, you have to try them, they're so good. I was like, oh no. But these are gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, and then peanut-free as well. So basically, these are like good for you. They're safe to eat raw, so you can eat this cookie dough raw, or you can buy their tub of cookie dough. So you're welcome. If you love cookie dough, but you don't want to eat it because the egg in it, this is your answer to prayer because it is also gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free. So basically, I just gave you my number one secret to happiness, which is this cookie dough, and we've just been loving it. We've been having a cookie every night with a coffee. Honestly, guys, it's just the little things that you need during the day to get you by, and I can't lie to you. I look forward to my cookie every single night, and I think that has actually helped me get through quarantine. Next up is another food item. This is the kombucha from GTS, and as you can see, it's huge. Jason and I have been downing these. This is the gingerade flavor, and we had been drinking the Kavita ginger booch, which is also really good, but we found that this guy is healthier for you, it's cheaper, and it's actually really good. And because it doesn't come in those single serve bottles, we find that we drink a lot less when we get these. So I don't know, they're just super yummy and we love kombucha. It's only 50 calories for a serving size and there are three servings in this. So you can drink 16 ounces and it's only 50 calories and they're super refreshing. It's like carbonated. So this has been really good. I don't even really drink soda anymore because I've just been drinking kombucha and we really like it. Plus there's tons of other flavors. We just love ginger. The next thing that I have desperately needed in quarantine has been journaling. And I don't think I've ever journaled as much as I have during quarantine because this has just brought on so many thoughts, so many feelings. I feel like I wake up every morning feeling totally different than the day before. So I have been journaling all of them. And this is my leather journal that my aunt got me from a trip to Italy. So I can't link this exact one, but I get so many questions on my Insta stories when I post this journal asking where to get it. So I'm gonna link a few that I really like off of Etsy. But basically I have been filling this thing up with so many thoughts 
and it has just been so good for me to journal and i just love having this really nice journal because it feels just like homey to me i don't know i go through so many journals but for some reason this is like my favorite plus you can refill it so there's a lot on etsy that i'll link that you can refill as well but i honestly don't know what i would do if i couldn't journal during all of this and then to go with my journal i've actually been loving these pens and they actually don't have a brand name on them but i will link them because i got them off of amazon and i can go back through my orders and find them but these are a 0.38 ballpoint pen and i love these because they're such a fine tip pen that you can just write so neatly like in my journal i literally write so tiny but that's because of these pens and i love these and i really don't see myself ever using any other pen ever again so i've been really liking these for my journaling we have been taking riley on so many walks that has been our way of getting out of the house spending quality time together even though jason and i are both home we still work so i work all day he works all day and so we like to spend our afternoon evenings going on walks with riley or runs and it's just honestly so good to get out of the house i feel like whenever we are in the house all day long we don't actually go on a walk or a run we start to get stir crazy and then and we start to get like anxious or like kind of just not in a good mood so we have been walking Riley a lot and something that has been one of my favorites has been her new leash we got this one from hobo and it's a leather leash but what's really nice about it is the little bag that is attached to the leash so it has a bag holder so you can stick your poop bags in there and then on the inside it also has slots for credit cards and then it is big enough to fit an iPhone so I love this leash because I feel like whenever I go on walks I don't really bring my phone because I'm wearing some like athletic shorts so I don't have any pockets so it's really nice to have this because I can slip my phone in there if I didn't want to bring my wallet I could also just throw some credit cards in there but this has been awesome so I really love this leash and it's nice to have like a cute leash because we've been walking Riley with like a sport leash which isn't the cutest thing we've never really had a leather leash so this is like a big upgrade as far as media goes when quarantine started Jason and I watched through the entire series of Harry Potter and we had never watched those movies ever so that's something that we really enjoyed during quarantine and we actually like fell in love with the characters and the whole wizard world which is so weird because both of us grew up not watching those movies and so we're pretty late to the party when it comes to like being a fan of Harry Potter and I wouldn't say we're like fans of Harry Potter but we did enjoy the movies so that was really fun and it really killed a lot of time another thing that we've been watching has been Seinfeld which again is a TV show that's been out forever that Jason and I literally are just now watching for the first time during quarantine and it's honestly so funny I don't know how we haven't watched it before but I feel like when you start to get desperate you don't want to rewatch all of your shows that you already watched like I always I'm the type of person who goes back and watches the same shows like I watch Gilmore Girls I watch Glee and I watch Parks and Rec and when I'm done watching those I re-watch them but quarantine has really broken me on my shell so we watched Harry Potter and we watched Seinfeld and then I would say my quarantine albums have been the Dua Lipa album I've been loving that I'm super into just kind of junky pop it's super weird I have a really weird taste in music it's either like alt rock or like pop music there's really no in between and then I also have been really loving the new Lynn and Stella album that has been probably one of my favorite albums that has come out in a really long time from start to finish I love the album so I'll link both of those down below but those are all of my quarantine favorites things that I have just been really loving while staying at home and i would love to know what you've been enjoying what's helped you get through all of this like i do in all my videos i'll be sure to link everything down below if there's anything that you want to check out but if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment just letting me know your favorites if you are new to my channel and you would like to stick around be sure to hit that subscribe button i would love to have you back for some more videos but i will see you in my next one bye guys